Aloha and welcome to our video on earthquake hazards. In this video we will identify the major hazards associated with earthquakes and we'll also describe how earthquake damage can be reduced. So earthquakes can cause damage in a number of different ways. Perhaps we're most familiar with this one here, the seismic shaking. And that's just going to be the shaking of the earth is causing damage to buildings and structures and things of that nature and it's just simply that shaking that happens when that pressure is released in an earthquake. We also have a process called liquefaction. Liquefaction is when you have water saturated soil and rock and when that shaking kind of turns it into a liquid. So it's kind of like a muddy solid rock you would think initially but when you shake it all up it kind of loosens up and kind of goes into a liquidy there and that can cause damage. We also have landslides and mudslides which can occur and then we also have the big one down here, the tsunamis. And tsunamis are often called tidal waves but they have nothing to do with the tides. Rather, tsunamis are caused by that rapid release. It's kind of like if you jumped into a pool and made one big wave, that's what a tsunami would be. Out in the open ocean, the way that we measure them is by speed. They're very, very fast, but they're not very big waves. They don't get to be a big wave until they move this way and towards shore, and as they get compressed in with the bottom coming up, it causes the top of the wave to rise up until we get this massive wave we call a tsunami. But we can measure them by speed, and there's a series of buoys throughout the Pacific that measure for these after an earthquake. So how can we reduce the damage caused by an earthquake? Well the damage is going to depend on the strength and duration. So how strong that earthquake is and how long that shaking goes on. And that's what's going to determine how much damage occurs. But we can take steps to reduce that damage a little bit. If we look at where earthquakes happen, then we try and avoid putting large cities and building structures on the faults. That'll reduce the damage that would occur there. We can also have building materials or build structures that are designed to withstand that shaking a little bit. And also we can teach the populations that are there how to react when an earthquake occurs. So the combination of all of these preparatory steps will allow us to kind of reduce that damage a little bit, but we really don't know when the next earthquake is going to happen. So that's it for this video. Good luck on your quiz and we'll see you in the next video.